Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. This video was inspired by my friend Manny at Cascade Sense. So if you're unaware of him for any reason, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He made a video about five designer fragrances that you should buy right now, mainly due to discontinuation. It's been a while since I've said this on the channel, but discontinued fragrances are actually one of my loves of collecting fragrances. So fragrances that are no longer made for whatever reason really interest me, mainly because there's an exclusivity to them. Because they are no longer being made, they're harder to find, less people are gonna be wearing them. So oftentimes discontinued fragrances can actually be more exclusive than niche fragrances. And for whatever reason, and that really interests me. Something that at one time was really hyped up and being advertised all across the world and now is basically forgotten. So in this video, what I'm going to be going over with you guys today is fragrances that have been discontinued, that are becoming much harder to find, and that in the future are probably going to command a premium if you want to own it. Now I'm not making this video as some sort of advice for investing in fragrances or anything like that. I'm not guaranteeing you that any of these fragrances are going to shoot up in price. But I'm gonna go over some fragrances that have been discontinued, that are becoming harder to find right now, and I'm gonna go over some fragrances that over the past couple of years have gone from being super easy to find at discounters for cheap and are now commanding a huge premium. So let's jump into this. First off, let me talk about some of the fragrances that in the last three years or so have gone from being very easy to find at all discounters to being highly marked up and basically only being able to be found on eBay. First off, this one is very obvious. It was one that in the fragrance community was really hyped up. People really enjoyed it, talked about it a lot, if nothing else than for the bottle. This fragrance, Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels. There's an Eau de Toilette version, which is what I have in my hand here, and also an Eau de Parfum version. The Eau de Parfum version commands a bit of a premium over the Eau de Toilette. And I actually have a couple of bottles of this still sealed because this is a fragrance that I actually really, really like. Just two maybe three years ago, this was still easily found everywhere. FragranceNet, FragranceX, Amazon, eBay, whatever. You could find this everywhere and you could pick it up for under 20 bucks, brand new. I mean, take a look at that bottle. That is a fantastic presentation, especially when you consider the price that you could pick this up at, again, in the $20 range. The fragrance itself is a little bit powdery and balsamic. Some people say that it's a little bit too feminine for them, but personally, I love it. This fragrance nowadays goes for over $100 on eBay. And the price goes up from there, especially if you're talking about an Eau de Parfum. Back in the early days of this channel, I made a video about great fragrances you could buy for under $20. This fragrance is on that list. It's no longer going for under $20. Another one, Kinzo Tokyo. This fragrance used to be super cheap and also was everywhere. It's a pink pepper, ginger, and tea-based fragrance. It's very fresh. Uh, this used to be very cheap, like I said. Now, if you're lucky, you can find this size, 50 mils, for about $55, but that's on the extreme low end. It goes up from there over $100 for bottles of this now. Then we've got this one, Bergamotto Di Marino by Gianfranco Fair. This is an eau de cologne. It's a great warm weather fragrance, very refreshing and clean. This one was very, very inexpensive. I mean, I've got a 200 milliliter size bottle here and it didn't run me much at all. I don't remember exactly what it cost me, but maybe like $30. A 50 mil of this, which is one fourth the size of what I have in my hand, runs $50 now on the low end. You can find an unboxed 100 mil without the cap for about 70 bucks and it goes up from there. Another Kinzo Air Intense. This is a fantastic vetiver based fragrance. This ran me maybe $35 when I picked it up, 35 or 40. I think it was right around there. This is a 90 milliliter size. This runs now for about 170 bucks. And I know that you would think maybe with this bottle design and it being named Air Intense, that it would be aquatic or ozonic or something like that, but it's mainly vetiver, anise, and woody notes. So it's more of a, a woody fragrance. And then we have this one, Avant Garde by Lanvin. 
This was very inexpensive. And for a long time, this was on lots of different YouTubers and fragrance reviewers' cheapy lists of fantastic cheap fragrances. It's got notes like beeswax, tobacco, cardamom, and lavender. And if you look on Fragrantica, this one is very highly rated. According to Fragrantica, it's about an 8.5 out of 10 based on the people that have voted there. Once upon a time, like all these other fragrances, you could find this everywhere in the 20 to $25 range. If you want this now, you're gonna have to go to eBay and it's gonna run you over a hundred bucks. And then last but not least, out of this bunch of ones that are now very hard to find, is this one by Christian LaCroix, Tumulte or Tumult. Out of the bunch that I just showed you, this one is actually my favorite. I think the bottle looks freaking awesome. <laughs> I really like it for whatever reason. And this is a fantastic woody fragrance. Cedar, juniper, and sandalwood specifically. It's fresh, it's dry, it's woody. It smells like a million bucks. I have two bottles of this fragrance. It is one of my absolute favorites in my entire collection and it is a pain in the freaking butt to get nowadays. Once upon a time, this was very, very cheap. Yeah, I mean, check that out. It's got a really cool look to it. I bring all of these fragrances up first just to illustrate the fact that each one of these, going back just a couple of years even, was easy to pick up and was inexpensive. And if you missed picking those up when it was last call, now you're gonna have to pony up. When a fragrance is discontinued, a lot of times what happens is people will see those fragrances still on sale at FragranceNet or FragranceX or even in a store like Sephora or Ulta and they'll assume, oh, it's not actually discontinued. But the fragrance is discontinued. They're just selling out of old stock. And once that stock has sold, it's gone. And unfortunately, none of us really knows when that's going to happen. It could take years or it could be something that happens over a few months. With some of these fragrances, when they were announced that they were discontinued, they sold out quick and the prices shot up just as fast. With others, it took years for that stock to sell off before the prices started to go up. So keep that in mind when I talk about these fragrances. And actually, it's a lot more than five. You'll see what I'm talking about as we go on. First off, I wanna talk about this fragrance, Versace Man. Not Versace Man Eau Fraiche, just Versace Man. This has cashmere, tobacco, amber, and saffron as some of the notes, and it gets compared to Versace Oud Noir. And in the opening, Versace Man and Versace Oud Noir do have a strong similarity. After the opening, they kind of go different ways, but if you compare them side by side, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can still pick this one up at a good price, the issue is it's selling out of stock and it's pretty much dry from what I can tell. Back even a year ago, you could find this everywhere. Very cheap. FragranceNet, FragranceX, your discounter of choice, Amazon, eBay, it was everywhere and it wasn't very expensive. The only discounter that I can find this at now is FragranceX and they don't have the full presentation. They just have the tester. So if you buy it, it's gonna come like this with no cap and no box. That said, if you want this fragrance, time is probably running out before the price starts to go up. When I checked online before this video, it was 38 bucks and 55 cents at FragranceX for the tester. I know it doesn't seem like a huge increase, but not that long ago, you used to be able to buy this full presentation and everything for under 30 bucks. Now that it's selling out, the price is starting to go up and it's starting to get hard to find. So if you've wanted Versace Man, now is probably a good time to scoop up a bottle. Next up is a fragrance that Manny talked about in his video. It's one that's been rumored to be discontinued for a long, 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 long time. Gucci Pour Homme 2 or Gucci Pour Homme De. This is one where people have been saying it's discontinued for so long that I think people in the fragrance community almost view it like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Basically, people keep saying it's discontinued, it's discontinued, pick it up, pick it up. But then every time you look, it's at Fragrance Net, it's at Fragrance Sex, it's all over the place for 45 bucks, 50 bucks. So everybody kind of took that with a grain of salt when they were being told that it was discontinued because you could find it everywhere. But one thing I've noticed about this fragrance, especially of late, is that it's showing up out of stock at most of the discounters now. It's not in stock at Fragrance Net. It's not in stock at Fragrance X. And when I checked eBay, the prices are going up fast on this one. So that could mean that after all this time and after all these people saying it's discontinued, it's discontinued, we finally reached that point where the stock is running out. This is still listed on websites like Sephora and Ulta, but it's out of stock on those two. It has tobacco, cinnamon, and violet leaf, along with a great note of black tea. Very comforting, very relaxing, fantastic fall and springtime fragrance in my opinion. 
It's more of a subtle performer. It's not loud, it doesn't have a lot of projection, but for this type of fragrance, it works really well. You don't need loud projection with every scent. I checked on eBay before doing this video, 50 milliliters of this, which was the cheapest bottle I could find, 80 bucks. I bought this 100 milliliter size bottle for just barely over half that. So if you've been interested in Gucci Pour Homme 2 and you haven't picked it up, now might be a good time. Next up is not so much a single fragrance, but it is a fragrance house. And there's actually two fragrance houses that we're gonna talk about. The first one, D Squared. D Squared had a lot of different fragrances and they discontinued all of them. Now they just have D Squared Wood the new D squared fragrance. When they released that, they killed every single other fragrance that they make. So that's going to include fragrances like He Wood, He Wood Cologne, Rocky Mountain Wood, Potion, Potion Blue Cadet, He Wood Ocean Wet Wood, and a few other fragrances on top of that. And this is one of those times that it looks like the stock is selling fast. Not that long ago, you could find all of those fragrances, all of those D squares on all of the different discounters. I checked before this video and I was actually surprised how few of them I could find. Sure, they have this one, Rocky Mountain Wood, on FragranceNet, but it's just a sample vial, no bottles. Same with Potion, and same with the other He Wood fragrances. They pretty much wiped them out, and from what I can see, there wasn't much stock to go around. So if you've been interested in any of those D squared fragrances, it's probably best to pick it up right now. And I'm not trying to drive hype or anything like that. I think that D squared fragrances had some good ones. They had some that were kind of eh. Anyway, I figured I'd bring up the entire D squared house other than their new one because of how fast these ones are going missing or selling out. Next up is a line of three fragrances from Aramis. This is the Perfume Calligraphy line. So Perfume Calligraphy Saffron, Perfume Calligraphy Rose, and just perfume calligraphy. Each one of these fragrances was a limited edition, and at this point they've been discontinued. The original here has myrrh, saffron, rose, and oud. Saffron calligraphy has styrax, marigold, and saffron. I know, huge surprise. And rose calligraphy has labdanum, olibanum, myrrh, and rose. And I've got to say I love, love the coloration on rose calligraphy. I know coloration ultimately doesn't matter, but it looks really nice. This deep, rich, reddish amber color. I've talked about a couple of these over the years. I know Calligraphy Rose I have, and I think the original I have as well, but these smell of fantastic quality. You can go onto Fragrantica and read more about these, but they really do just smell amazing. I know that Agnes Eva recently did a review on this one, Calligraphy Saffron, and she loved it. And it does smell great, especially the sweetness off the top that you get with that one. It's an extremely high quality line of fragrances that for whatever reason, never got a huge amount of hype. And these ones are getting a little bit harder to find. And when those sell out, they could turn into kind of a grail type of fragrance where if you want a bottle, you're gonna have to pay up. So I wanted to bring that entire line into focus here because each one of those, very nice. I'm gonna talk about one briefly here that I know Manny talked about. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. It's this one, Play Intense, but this isn't the normal bottle type that you'll see. This is an oversized bottle, which is almost empty. Your normal Play bottle is going to look something like this, and this is actually a flanker called Play in the City that I have. So you take it off and then the atomizer is right there. So I'm not talking about Play in the City, but Play Intense. This has gotten harder and harder to find over the past year or so. It's got coffee, tonka, pink pepper, and patchouli in there. A really, really nice coffee fragrance. I actually got a good amount of love when it came out and then people started to kind of forget about it a little bit and now it's become difficult to find. So more people are trying to scoop it up before it's gone completely. I did notice that it's for sale right now on FragranceNet for the first time in a while and it's about $55. They do have it at some other discounters, but I've noticed it's in the $80 to $85 range, so it's cheapest at FragranceNet by about 30 bucks. I've already scooped my bottle up, so I'll have one, but if you want a bottle of Play Intense, you may want to scoop it up. Lastly, for this video, another house that just killed all their fragrances. It is Fendi. So, Fendi for men has the Fan de Fendi line, or it did, which has Fan de Fendi Pour Homme, Fan de Fendi Aqua, Fan de Fendi Asoluto, and those are all now 
Infinito. See what I did there? <laughs> Perome had woody notes, cardamom, and leather. Aqua had citrus, pink pepper, leather, and watery notes. This is aqua here, obviously. And Ocelludo, which is right here, has pink pepper, Apopanax, Tonka, and Oud. In general, you can still find these at discounters for a pretty good price. They have a pretty unique bottle design with this kind of plastic plaque that goes over the front, over the glass. And then the atomizer, obviously, is right here. So there's a quick look at the Aqua bottle, so you can see what I'm talking about. I thought of the Fandi Fendi line as a pretty good quality, inexpensive designer line for a while now. They kind of have the three fragrances that get you covered in any situation. You've got your aquatic for your warmer weather, the slightly denser Ocelludo with a little bit of oud in there, and then your more anytime pour home with the leather, cardamom, and woods. All of the fragrances in this line are pretty easy to wear. The bottles, like I said, very unique, don't look like anything else out there, and not really a line that's ever been hyped. They're not necessarily mind-blowing, but they're pretty good. And since these are discontinued, once the stock sells out, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, the prices on these will start to climb. Do I think they'll climb as much as some of the other ones in here? Absolutely not. But if you love the line, maybe you wanna buy a backup bottle just in case, or if it's a line that you've always been interested in and never pulled the trigger, it might be a good time to do it sometime soon before those prices do creep up once it does sell out. So there we go, guys. A big rundown on a bunch of discontinued fragrances. I can't tell you when the prices on these will go up because I don't know. And I can't tell you how much they're gonna go up again because I don't know. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which of these fragrances that I talked about being recently discontinued or recently starting to become harder to find you like the most. As always, guys, I appreciate all your support. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Shout out to Manny Cascade since again, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.